Hello viewers today we are talking about Raoul Duffy, a master of color and decoration. Raoul Duffy, a renowned French fauvist painter, was born on June 3, 1877, in Le Havre, a coastal town in Normandy, France. His artistic journey unfolded during a transformative period in the history of art, and Duffy emerged as a prominent figure in the early 20th century. His vibrant, colorful style, characterized by bold brushwork and a keen sense of decorative composition, left an indelible mark. On the art world, Duffy's work extended beyond traditional canvases, encompassing ceramics, textiles, and decorative designs for public buildings. He is particularly celebrated for his depictions of open-air social events that capture the joy and exuberance of life. Duffy's early life was marked by a deep connection to his coastal hometown. Growing up in Le Havre, he was exposed to the picturesque scenes of bustling harbors, sailboats, and the shimmering sea, which would later influence his artistic style. His family supported his artistic pursuits, and he began his formal training at the École des Beaux-Arts in Le Havre before moving to Paris in 1900 to study at the École Nationale Supérieure des Beaux-Arts. During his time in Paris, Duffy became part of the burgeoning avant-garde art scene. He associated with prominent artists like Henri Matisse, André, Durain, and Georges Brock, who were at the forefront of the Fauvist movement. Fauvism was characterized by its bold use of color and brushwork, breaking away from the naturalistic representation of objects. Duffy adopted this innovative approach and developed a unique style that blended the Fauvist sensibility with his own aesthetic. Duffy's works from this period, such as Regatta at Cows, 1907, and The Open Window, 1905, reveal his growing mastery of color and light. His use of vibrant, non-representational colors, often applied in bold strokes, convey the emotional and subjective experience of the scenes he depicted. These early works established him as a key Fauvist painter, known for his distinctive approach to color. One of Duffy's enduring contributions to the world of art was his embrace of decorative arts. He was drawn to the idea of making art more accessible and functional, believing that art should permeate everyday life. Duffy's passion for this concept led him to collaborate with textile manufacturers, creating textile designs that transformed fabric into a canvas for his colorful, joyful imagery. His work in textiles, such as Le Manufacture de Rubai, 1912 became highly sought after, making him a pioneer in the field of textile design. Duffy's decorative talents extended to ceramics as well. His work in ceramics was characterized by whimsical and colorful designs that adorned plates, vases, and other household items. His collaboration with the Haviland Porcelain Factory resulted in Exquisite pieces like the, mignonette, service, showcasing his ability to translate his artistic vision onto functional objects. In addition to textiles and ceramics, Duffy applied his artistic sensibilities to decorative schemes for public buildings. His notable commissions included murals for the ocean liner SS Normandy and the Palais de Chalot in Paris. These large-scale projects allowed him to expand his artistic horizons and share his vibrant vision with a wider audience. Duffy's work is perhaps best known for his scenes of open-air social events. These paintings capture the essence of leisure and celebration, often featuring bustling seaside scenes, regattas, and horse races. 
One of his most famous works, The Large Beach at Nice, 1928 exemplifies his ability to convey the joy and vivacity of these moments through his signature use of color and composition. As the years passed, Duffy continued to evolve as an artist. He explored different styles, including a brief foray into cubism, but he never strayed far from his love of color and decoration. Throughout his career, he remained committed to the idea that art should bring happiness and beauty to people's lives. Raoul Duffy's artistic journey came to a close on March 23, 1953, in Fourcalquier, France. His legacy endures through his vibrant and decorative works, which continue to captivate art enthusiasts and inspire new generations of artists. Duffy's ability to infuse everyday objects and public spaces with the joy of art has left an indelible mark on the world of visual culture, reminding us that beauty and creativity can be found in the most unexpected places.